Millions of people lost their jobs because of the pandemic, and there soon could be a housing crisis as well. In fact, there's already a lack of affordable, safe housing, but the city of Muncie has a plan to help. Our Sarah Jones takes a look at what they're doing. This is a GIS-based program, which is a map of the city. We use our smartphones when we're out there. Log the address, write the notification. We attach photos. Steve and Rebecca are part of a five-person field team that goes out into the community to educate owners and inspect buildings Hello. for the entire city of Muncie. We had people move their vehicles out of the yard, cleaned up the trash, even some repairs done that were code violations. 281 voluntary compliance, so it was very successful. That's almost six. It made the neighborhoods look so much better. Residents want to see Muncie continue to flourish. The north and west side where the hospitals in Ball State are located are booming, but it wasn't that long ago that some of the largest employers were on a different side of town. Industrial plants, automotive and others, were located more in the center and the southern portion of the city. The last factory closed in the early 2000s. When Muncie lost a lot of their manufacturing, the business traffic, it, it, wasn't there anymore. It all comes back to economics. When it comes to low income housing in Muncie, Muncie has older housing stock that hasn't been very well kept up. It was an unsafe property. And like most of the country, there's a shortage of affordable, decent housing. Here's an abandoned property that is open. Some people who are homeless squat in the abandoned vacant homes, many of which surround the concrete fields that were once home to industrial giants. It was a apartment house that caught fire. We have the before pictures and we want to take you over and show you now that they're rehabbing it and bringing it back up to code. Roof, siding, windows, all new mechanicals, insulated, and then obviously all new framing. Here in Muncie, the community is coming together to try and improve housing and a property that others may have given up on. I bought it first. Others see potential. You can make an impact, so you can buy maybe two houses next door to each other or whatever, and you can change a whole block by rehabbing. With 12 properties, Rebecca is investing in her community. She's even rehabbed this one into a bed and breakfast. But bringing things up to code isn't cheap. The plywood's $25 a sheet. We'll spend about $15,000 in just plywood in a year. The Muncie Building Commissioner has a $350,000 budget. What would be your ideal budget? Seven or eight million, we could take care of it. But how do you get more vacant buildings and homes on the tax roll? Because that helps fund the budget. The land bank is the caretaker of last resort for abandoned houses. And residents just launched one in Muncie at the end of 2020.